Well, thanks for staying with us on this uh, Tuesday edition of our flagship program. And just before the break, we did talk about some initiatives by well-meaning individuals in society to cater for marginalized groups. And one of such marginalized groups are those living with disabilities. Now, my colleague Peace Organic Bawe was at an intervention program by the Ability Life Foundation, founded by Mrs. Opara Uzodema Ohaniri Opa. and her sister, Barrister Prada Uzodema, where children living with disability were given special tablets to help them communicate with their teachers. Yes. Uh, before we look at the report, let's uh, get a feel of what happened that day since you covered the event. Okay, well, it was um, a time, it was an eye-opener for me, you know, and uh, I must say that um, going through that has also helped me personally to help uh, some people that I know. You know, um, that people are living with disability doesn't mean that they cannot interact, you know, and of course that intervention program happened in one of the government schools where we have students of uh, the like you like to say normal students learning and uh, we have a uh, persons with disability also being students of the same school and interesting to note is the way they have been able to interact you know we and make them feel part and parcel of a society you know, uh, we we also saw that um, even the normal students have been thought out how to use the sign language. You know, to so that they can communicate so with their peers who have disabilities. Peers, peers who has disabilities. One of the things about the AAC tools that were being given out is the fact that these tools can help the students communicate their emotions. You know, with their caregivers, with their teachers in class. So they feel happy sometimes you know and they cannot see these things out but with this uh, they can just tap on it and uh, the 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 tab just announces their emotion per time we also saw a situation where the teachers were also trained you know to be able to use digital tools to make lesson notes easier for them you know and it, it was really an amazing one. I, I think if, if it's ready, we could just um, go look at it, look at some of the challenges, and of course... Now, uh, Peace made mention of the AAC, that is, uh, for those who do not know, Adaptive Augmentative Communication Softwares, which are embedded in these special tablets yes. for students with some disorders like cerebral palsy be able to communicate with their teachers. Now, let's take a listen to some of the assets from the intervention as the outreach held at the government secondary school in Kujay. Take a listen. So I think with the parents of children that have disabilities, you know, one thing Tali advocates for is making sure that students with disabilities get the sound and right education that they actually need and desire. And what we're doing here today is we're sharing out these AAC um, learning materials, such as tablets with, you know, programs that enable children that have difficulties in comprehension or in speech to be able to communicate to the teacher that, oh, I understand this subject or I don't understand what you're teaching me. So we're advocating for parents to be able to, you know, and other organizations, ministries, and government bodies that can donate to the cause to enable us to buy this AAC devices to give to students to use to enhance their learning. So we're trying to reward those parents by saying that, okay, we know that you want to reward your students by giving them or encourage your students to learn by sending them to this special needs school. And we're going to give you these technological devices to be able to teach them better or have their teachers teach them better. But for those in the community, we're still going to go out and have different outreaches to encourage them to know that even if your child has a disability, doesn't mean that they can't learn or they can't go to school. My advocacy message is that I see that there's a lot of working in silos. There's a lot of working in silos in the community. We want people to partner with us, come and work with us. Some individuals that are able to give out some of these resources are going about giving the wrong things and not aware of the real needs in the community. If you partner with organizations like us, we'll be able to tell you the real needs and you'll be able to use those resources effectively and efficiently. So right now, my call out to stakeholders is Please, don't work in silos. It is important that we embrace technology and also help these learners thrive because you can't just leave them alone. And that is why we keep advocating that teachers also take more courses, enlarging their knowledge, widening their horizons to, so that they can be able to offer this support to, to learners with special needs. The challenges we have is that um, 
For instance, in this place, we are understaffed. We are understaffed and we have been calling on them for a long time to give us uh, more uh, interpreters, more uh, learning disabled uh, uh, specialists. But we've not gotten because when the Civil Service Commission want to publish a uh, vacancy, they will tell you be ed. And when you go for interview, they will ask you what is your subject. And when you tell them special education, they get confused. They don't know where you belong. They know English, they know math, they know biology. But when you have ever entered an interview, where, they, where it was my turn to enter the interview hall, they shoved me away that they don't know what I'm coming to do. So awareness creation is important. So if they can specify when they are publishing vacancies that they need special educators and even special educators you have to know the need of the school that is requiring that teacher because if you take an, a sign language interpreter to a school where we have visual impaired child it may not work because a sign language interpreter is to interpret for the deaf and a visual impaired school needs a braille. When I heard about this program they see they're coming with computer teachers out to me. I was like, wow, 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 wow. So that's why when they gave me to type my name, it didn't take time. I typed the chapter. So I feel happy and I believe like with more uh, efforts, we will learn more. The, uh, some of the challenges is the environment. Normally, sometimes it's not even the, the, the disabled or all this. It's the environment sometimes that makes us a disabled person. So there are some class, but I can see that they are working on it. There are some classrooms that we couldn't access before, and I see that uh, they are working on it. So what we need government to do is the accessibility. Now, much like the student there responding to the initiative, is a call on government and other well-meaning individuals to support the Ability Life Foundation, much in line with helping students, especially persons with disabilities, be able to learn not minding their disabilities. Some disabilities might not be visible. It might be from the ranges of autism, cerebral palsy, those who are confined to a wheelchair, but it's also in making learning very interactive with their teachers as well. Yeah, very important. Now in 2018, there was the Persons with Disability Act, and of course, five years have passed. It is high time it began to be used, you know, just like the student said, um, accessibility is one of the challenges. And uh, the special needs consultant mentioned the fact that um, more schools need to be created to take care of um, other kinds of disabilities aside um, deaf, school for the deaf, school for the blind, and uh, this other schools. And I think uh, it's a, a call uh, away from, we see some private sectors, but the question is how many students can actually attend the schools that has been created or made available by the private um, proprietors. So yes, the, the federal government is, is, a, is a call, you know, to, to look into that.